Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast and in this video we will see the steps to build an iSCSI Sun using only Windows Server 2012 R2. Instead of a separate download and install for the iSCSI target software in Windows Server 2012 R2, this feature comes built into the latest build of Windows Server operating system like Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2. So first off, now all you need a clean installation of Windows Server 2012 R2. And it does not need to be a part of domain, but uh, for this demonstration, I'm using my domain controller. Already, I have an Active Directory domain service installed and configured. Ensure that you have enough disk space on your VM. So, in my case, I got another uh, drive just for my iSCSI. So, once you have uh, uh, your VM ready, and then start the iSCSI target role installation. And to do that, just click on Add Roles and Features. On before you begin page, click on next. On select installation type page, just select role page or feature page installation and then click on next. Once select your destination server, then click on next. And uh, on server role, expand file storage services, expand files and iSCSI services, and then select iSCSI target server. Then click on next. Click on next and click on install to start the installation this will take some time to complete so be patient and uh, you will see that the rule is installed successfully so as you are seeing uh, installation succeeded on this our server click on close to close the console and the next step is configured iSCSI target so to configure it go to the server manager and click on file and storage services then click on iSCSI so click on to create an iSCSI virtual disk, start the new iSCSI virtual disk wizard. So click on it. Now select where you would like to create the virtual disk. Uh, then click next. For me, I have chosen the my drive, E drive, and then click on next. Now create a name. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to specify iSCSI and then click on next. For this demo, I'm just gonna give a uh, hundred gig but that's up to you and you can specify the size as per your requirement and uh, here you have a three options one is a fixed size so this types of disk provides a better performance and recommended for server running application with high level of disk activity then we have a dynamically expanding uh, hard disk drive and this type of disk provides a better use of physical storage space and is recommended for server running application that are not disk intensive and you can also create a difference in. but let's go with uh, uh, dynamic expanding and then click on next now uh, select new iSCSI target and then click on next now specify the target name so I specify the name iSCSI target world and then click on next now uh, specify the access server click on add to add the server that will be a connecting to your iSCSI sun initiate the computer for id click on browse and uh, i have a my file server that is srt fs01 and click on ok ok so this is the server also you can specify these uh, manually you can specify enter a value of the select target then you can select these uh, ip address and then you can add that but i'm going with query initiator computer for id and then click on ok ok so this is the uh, iqn for my server then click on next you can also specify the authentication but for this demonstration i'm not going to specify the authentication method and then click on next and just click on create to create the videos okay that's it that's completed click on close to close this wizard now it's ready to connect and let's move to our uh, file server and first of all i just want to show you the disk management console Okay, right now I just have a disk zero and already I created a one partition. That's the C drive. Now click on start, select control panel, and click on ISCS initiator. You're saying the Microsoft ISCS service is not running. Click on yes to start this service. Okay, now switch with the target and let's specify these. IP address of our uh, iSCSI target server and that is the 
this is click on quick connect and click on done okay click on ok and close this control panel and here we have a disk one of size 100 gig just right click on it and select online and then you have to initialize the disk before you create a partition so let's initialize the disk and select the MBR table click on ok and now let's create a new simple volume click next and finish so now you are connected to our uh, sun that is running on our domain controller in here and here you can see it's saying it's connected and now you can store your data and all the stuff on this drive so that is for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video